Hi everyone, I know many of you are fascinated with aesthetic separation techniques, which is why I've decided to start a new series called Tribal Electric Tuesdays. In this series, we'll be diving into the various challenges of using static electricity to separate trichome heads from contaminants. If you're interested in learning more about this topic, make sure you stay tuned. Today we're going to discuss the four methods by which charges can redistribute themselves to build up static electricity. Friction, conduction, induction, and polarization. First, let's talk about friction. Friction is a common method for building up static electricity. When two materials rub against each other, electrons can transfer from one material to the other. This results in one material having a positive charge and the other having a negative charge, creating static electricity. An example of this can be seen when you rub a balloon on your hair, causing the balloon to become negatively charged and your hair to become positively charged. Next, let's discuss conduction. Conduction refers to the transfer of electrical charges through a conductor, such as a metal wire. In this process, the charges move freely through the conductor, building up static electricity. An example of this can be seen when you touch a metal doorknob after walking across a carpet. The static electricity you generate on the carpet is conducted through your body and onto the doorknob, creating a static discharge. Third, let's look at induction. Induction is the process of building up static electricity by influencing the charges in a material without actually touching it. This is achieved by creating an electric field that changes the distribution of charges within the material. An example of this can be seen when you hold a charged balloon close to your hair without touching it. The electric field created by the balloon will induce a static charge in your hair. Finally, let's discuss polarization. Polarization is the process of building up static electricity by arranging charges in a material so that they are evenly distributed on opposite sides. This can be achieved by applying an electrical field to the material. An example of this can be seen in capacitors, which store static electricity by arranging charges on opposite plates. In conclusion, these are the four methods by which charges can redistribute themselves to build up static electricity. Friction, conduction, induction, and polarization. Understanding these processes can help us better understand the behavior of static electricity and how it can be harnessed and controlled. And before we wrap up, I'd like to ask if you have experience with static separations of any kind. If so, please share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.